Hey everyone. I want to revisit this mold again. I really like it. I think it's cool as heck. I want to put this fairy in the middle. And I'm going to use these. I don't know. They're like, they're in the shape of stars. Okay, see so yeah, how they're like in the shape of stars. It's pretty amazing, huh? I want to put it down in like the little crystal edges. Zoom out. There we go. These little crystal edges, right? How many use some UV resin? Here's the brand I'm using. Some off brand from Amazon. Go search. You'll find it. I couldn't get the transfer tape off of here, so I just opted to leave it on. Hopefully, it'll just get buried in the resin. Fingers crossed. Okay. The little glitters that we're using, they they bled, so it turned the resin yellow. Which I'm not even mad about. I think we need to use more yellow in resin. Okay, that's pretty. Okay, let's get some white. Another thing I'm not going to do is pipe this on, because no. I'm going to dump the blue on the outside, the yellow in the middle, and then just dump the white in the center. Okay. That is so pretty. Straight in. Pour that. So my table's not level. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can get into that. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna dump the lead in. Or maybe I'll spiral it. I don't know. But I'm not gonna. I ain't got time. Who, who has the time for this? Not me. That's who. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's just do it. Woohoo! And then I'm just gonna let it sit for a second. Let it pull in, and then I'll shove it back out again. I always kind of wonder what would happen if you just come in here and wait for it to get really, really thick and then start pulling. That's pretty. I half expect it to turn green, but I have a friend who likes green, so I'll just send it off to them. I'll mention this in one of my other videos about how hot a torch gets versus how much heat silicone can resist. And it's a really big difference, so... If you're gonna use the torch, use it like I just did. Okay, ready? Coming in for the last one. Oh gosh. Don't overflow, don't overflow, just don't. What do you think would happen if I dropped some alcohol inks in the middle? Oh, that could have been really bad. Good save, good save, Lisa. It's hard when you're working under these, like in a little tiny space. I need that to go out. Just go out. I think I'm gonna grab some of the blue and try to just fill it in right here. Just get in there, blue. You're not doing your thing like you're supposed to. Ooh, careful, don't blob. See what I did there? Almost. That up is what I did. 
right at the edge. Oh, no, no, I meant for that to happen. <laughs> oh, well, it probably doesn't matter because all of this is going to pull in anyway. What's going on with that right there? Anybody else see that suddenly just materialize out of nowhere? What? What is that? All right, I'm gonna get the alcohol inks. We're gonna do it. Should I? This bit is about to overflow. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> I did it on purpose. You know what I always say? If you make a mistake, just repeat it. Then it'll look like you meant it to be that way. Like Bob Ross says, happy little mistakes. Oop, see, ha. Huh? I think I'm going to. I don't even think you see this, really. This is where we're at. That freaking white blob right there is insane looking. Like, I don't even know what's going on there. Do you dare me to drop some alcohol inks in? Yes or no? Click yes. Or no. See, it's a thing with people that make this stuff where we go too much. We, we're like, don't stop fiddling with it. We don't leave good enough alone. I'm guilty of that. It's a problem. That's pretty. It looks kind of like it's blooming. It's funny you don't try to get the blooms and suddenly you get the blooms story of my freaking life. I meant it to be that way. Alright. I've got the alcohol ink. Shall we do it? Uh, oh, Lord. I've never seen anybody do this, so... You know, like, when they do the fairy flower and they do the push? Stands to reason you could just put some alcohol in it for the push. I'm just saying. Every time I see these techniques, I think, you know, how could you flip that on its head? One more? What do you think? One more? Okay, one more. Two more. Three more. <laughs> okay, just stop. Just stop. If you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm trying to get the overpour because ultimately your finished piece will have this little sharp edge on it. I don't think I'm going to be able to stop it though. It's... Wow, that looks cool. Holy crap. I hope it turns out. I'm going to torch that in a little bit after the alcohol evaporates. Looks like there's like some unmixed pigment right there, the yellow. Right there, too. Yeah, what do we do? What are you, you going to do? Get the rest of this. I don't like wasting resin. I'll put it in the teeniest, tiniest little pendant if I have to. I would not waste any. First things first, I pulled through that with a stick. I did that off camera. Secondly, I'm going to take a little bit of this interference pigment. I don't know if you can see, but like when it turns, it has a blue shift. Um, I'm going to mix it with a little bit of alcohol and just do. Because I have intrusive thoughts. And really, I'd just be sitting there going, I wonder what if. If I didn't do it, so I might as well just do it. I'm here, right? I should do it. One more, ready? Ugh, I'm nuts. I'm probably gonna regret this, but whatever. Let's 
pushing it out again. That's so crazy looking. Okay, one more. Then we're done. That's it. Okay, I'm not... Uh, should I do some on the outside? No. Leave it alone. What's wrong with you? One. Two. Three. That's it. I'm not touching it anymore. I'm done. I am done. I'm walking away. Just walk away. Alright, we're back. It's been about... I don't know, six hours ish. I put it on the food dehydrator, which I think kind of flash cured it. If I'm being honest, it's pretty deep. Oh. Well, that's cute. That's pretty cute. Only thing is, you can kind of see the lines from where I tried to pick the tape off. I might just put a top coat on that to fix it but look look at all the little petals and stuff Let's see if i can get up close on here see and whatever the blob is who cares it's like a little accent in the back for the fairy isn't it cute it's cute i freaking love it we're doing this again i'm gonna take this bad boy outside and give you a better look I think I'm probably going to cut off this, this excess. It's strange how it's like that. I don't like it. Let me hold it up to the light. I don't hate it. Do you? <laughs> Alright. I'm going to take it outside and get some better pictures. And until we meet again on the next episode of Lisa Tries to Screw It Up. Okay, so I'm looking at this. I have to do a top coat on it. And so I thought, since we're here, that maybe we could show you how I use alcohol ink markers. Like, I, you know, I've seen Julie do this on her channel where the colors don't quite come out how she wants them to and I'm in her comments yelling at her just to grab some markers and fix it and so I should just put my money where my mouth is and fix that sh and this is a spit like it's yellow right there and so anything I put over it's probably going to read green but what I think we can do is just kind of variate the color blue I believe we can it'll probably go a little green but I think we'll keep some of our blue these are alcohol based, so if you need to like just take some off, go ahead. And just grab a little wipey or whatever and take it off. Likewise, you can just get your alcohol inks and grab a paintbrush and do this. I feel like I get a little bit more control with the marker, but like I'm not a huge fan of the white. I just don't. But it's kind of essential for getting those little strange shapes in there. Those little petals. Or... They actually look like the dragon scales, which is funny because I was trying to kind of do something similar with the dragon tray video that I made. And that was a horrible fail. But I worked it out. I'm going to turn the flash on my camera on just really quick so you can kind of get a little better idea of what I'm doing here. And this honestly isn't even that big of a change. I'm not, I'm kind of going over the top with it. We certainly could. You could just make it all white and then come in here with your markers and go all crazy with the colors. Maybe I'll do one like that. Especially if you want it to be like a specific, you know, if you want the colors to be in a specific place. Anyway. I kind of want to get. 
it up here a little bit. And of course, once the resin hits this, it's going to... It shouldn't move because it'll dry, but... You know. You know how the inks get when you put resin over them. Makes them pop. So hopefully that's really good. I might actually come out with the yellow in there and try to bring that out a little bit more because it sort of died. It died in the white. Just bring that up into the little folds. That's pretty nice, huh? I got a little blotchy right there. Whoopsie. I could get something and wipe that off, but I'm not. I'm just going to go with it. And if I come over it with another color, it'll sort of blend it out. pop. It's always a good little trick to use yellow to make your colors pop. I think when people in resin kind of avoid yellow because <laughs> it's, you know, resin turns yellow after a bit, but hey, at least you don't have to worry about it turning yellow if it's already yellow, right? Let's see, look at, I don't know, can you see, you see how the blue is still there in the background? Oh, it's not pretty. Tell me that's pretty. It's freaking beautiful. Oh my goodness. Bye bye, white. Just not a fan. Just not a fan of the white. Let's get it over there. There we go. Haha. <laughs> Some might say this is cheating. I say all's fair in art. You use what you got. And you do whatever comes to your mind. I don't want to do too much because I can see where the blue is meeting the green or the yellow is starting to turn green. So let's get a top coat on this sucker. And we're done. I think that's nicer. You can still see, like, the transfer tape underneath. It occurred to me that I could have grabbed my black paint pen and gone over that. I mean, I still can, but it's not really going to be noticeable. You can just see it because you're so close up. But nobody else is going to see it. All anybody's going to see is a beautiful fairy. actually stand her straight up coaster maybe I don't know <laughs> I don't know because I kind of want to just have it on display so it would be you know you could just sit it somewhere I don't know about you but who's gonna take a coaster like this and put a drink on it nobody so that's kind of a good way to be able to display them is by using another coaster mold to stand it up. What do you think? You think I should do that? Let's do it. I've got some of the little pieces that I cut off from the outside. So I thought I'd just throw these in here to kind of give it some cohesion. Is that the word? So we're doing this. We don't waste anything around here. So now the trick is going to be to get the resin in there, stand this bad boy up, and hold it straight until we cure it, and hope that it holds it in place. Has anybody ever done this? Am I going to fuck this up? I might. If so, let's take one last look at her. <laughs> She's a beaut. I wonder what I didn't record. So just to catch up, I put some resin in the coaster. 
UV resin and I'm, now I'm trying to stand this bad boy up so we can hopefully lock it in place. It's kind of tricky because there's like like this high point that's right there and I kind of need it to sort of be on a low point but then it's going to tilt the fairy on her axes. Uh, maybe I'll do it. I think I'm gonna have to. Yeah, we have to. It won't be stable otherwise. All right, ready? Has anybody ever done this? I've seen somebody do this with regular resin, but never with UV resin. Okay. As I got to looking at this, as I'm putting the top coat on, I really love the way those those little pieces underneath are shining through. They're like iridescent. They're, I made them. This, this is a crappy little mold I made and. I was just testing it out and I used the little the little bits in there and I thought it would be cool to actually kind of stack them up a little bit let them be above the surface so it sort of looks like she's on a like a mountain of flower petals I have no idea this is art it doesn't have to reflect reality <laughs> okay so oof like that that's straight, so I'm just gonna use UV resin again. This will be a quick one. You can't put too much because the light needs to be able to penetrate. Usually with the iridescent stuff, you don't have a problem, but. Sorry about my dog barking. I'll pay the dog tax. Okay. That should be good. Oh, it's like lice. You know, I probably don't even need to stick a second layer on it because all this shit is going to be on the bottom of the coaster over right here. So we're going to do that and then we'll put them on and then we'll finish this shit up. Maybe. Unless I get another idea. Stay tuned. Alright. Pull these out. I mean, the mold didn't really work out all that great, but yeah, sometimes you can <laughs> find uses. I honestly thought this mold turned to shit because it's hard to uh, it's hard to get it to come to the surface and retain the whole shape. But okay, that's a little bit. Of, this doesn't even really matter because I'm gonna put it in there anyway, so I don't really need to even bother. Okay. Just need to be careful. Don't get that all sticky. So let's put one more layer of UV on here. I think I will drop a few more of these little chunks. I know I wasn't recording a second ago. I'm sorry. Again, it's really difficult doing this video thing. <laughs> it's been a while since I've had like a lot of fun making a project. <laughs> it's just a lot of anxiety. This one's actually been a lot of fun. And I have more fairy decals, so we might just be revisiting this. I'm gonna go yell at Julie in her comments to do the fairy flower with a fairy. She'll probably ignore me, but... Uh. So we really need to lock that coaster in there. Get that bad boy. It ain't going nowhere. 
Okay, I think we're domed pretty good, maybe. No. I should put some glasses on. That would be helpful. to have that little sharp edge. Nobody likes the sharp edge. Let's see, we don't. Alright, you're gonna think I'm nuts, but I have some glitter. I'm gonna do this super conservatively, though. We're gonna be really conservative about it because you know how glitter is. It takes over. We don't want that. Alrighty, ready for the big reveal? <laughs> Although I've already had the big reveal, so. I don't know what's down on the bottom of this mold. I was using it to, like, you know how when you have to switch colors when you're doing the dusting, you can just wipe it on a mold. Get some mystery meat. I really don't. I try, really try not to waste anything. This can be a really wasteful hobby. I try to avoid that. Oh, shoot. Look, it's got like some chameleon stuff, I think. That's pretty. Shoot. Matches. Let's look at the bottom first. Yeah, it looks atrocious. But luckily, we're not here for that. <laughs> we're here for the top. I'm going to get the camera down let you have a better look. Hold up. 